Hi everyone, welcome back to the Makeup Chair. Today I'm doing another episode in my Casual Wednesday series. Casual Wednesdays are really just for me to do like a random topic because a lot of the time I do my actual you know, makeup lessons where you close above my eye, but I have two eyes and a face, which is becoming my cat's phrase and I'm just gonna own it. But basically these kind of like episodes or this playlist allows me just to talk about things that get requested. So today I'm gonna talk about skincare because I get a lot of requests for skincare and I'm just gonna share with you what works for me. I'm not an expert in skincare. I have a very basic routine that works for me. So I'm gonna share that. I, I made my background trying to make it all pretty and nice. So I hope that you guys like it. And also I'm wearing my PJs. So put your PJs on and we can have a little skincare PJs party if you want to. So I want to start off with like the biggest tip that I have when it comes to skincare. And that's just to stop, stop doing everything. I have done so many ridiculous things to better my skin. I used to have really annoying skin that used to break out all the time. It wasn't drastic or dramatic, but it, it, was, it was pretty bad. And I tried everything under the sun to fix my skin. And then I just stopped. And when I stopped and I kept to a basic routine, it really worked. It doesn't sound fun. <laughs> It doesn't sound glamorous or exciting just to do basic skincare, but it works. I have tried so many crazy things. I've done the egg, the egg mask. I think that's still popular. I've done the lemon mask. I've done the kitty litter mask. I went out, I bought kitty litter, right? Kitty litter for kitties to pee on. Got a big bag of kitty litter, came home. My dad was like, why do you have kitty litter? Do we have a cat now? And I was like, no, 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 it's for my skin. And he was like, Where's your mom? <laughs> Talk to your mom. I was like, no, 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 dad, you don't understand. Michelle Fan, she's a YouTuber. She did this video where she used kitty litter and did a mask and I'm gonna use it and then my skin's gonna be amazing like Michelle Fan's skin. No. Does anybody remember that? It was about like 10 years ago. I tried it, it did not work. Actually, I'd love to, to hear some of your crazy stories if you've ever tried anything. So now my skincare is like super basic. Hold on, I'm gonna shuffle over here because I wanna put stuff on the screen. So I have three skincare routines. I have my morning, I have my makeup, and then I have my night one. And today we're gonna focus on the night one, but I'll talk you through the other ones as well as we go along. I have these three for very different reasons. So my morning one is all about refreshing my skin, giving my skin a little pick-me-up, and kind of getting my skin ready for the day. And this pretty much consists of of a cleanser, a toner, and then an SPF moisturizer. Then I have my makeup skincare routine. So this is the skincare I do before my makeup to help my makeup last longer, give it something to hold on to, but it consists of a toner, a moisturizer, and then some sort of like a primer and, and maybe a couple of other things, but pretty much just those. And then I have my night one. And my night one just has a couple of extra steps, but it's a cleanser, a toner, a moisturizer, an eye cream and a lip cream usually thrown in as well. So let's start off with what I actually use because I have a few products that I absolutely love that I want to share with you guys. One of them I've been using for almost 11 years. And those of you who have been here for a long time will know what I'm about to show you. Here it is, my absolute savior, the Neutrogena Pink Grapefruit Facial Wash. I have been using this for the entire time I've pretty much been here on YouTube and I've I've wavered, I've, tr I've tried other cleansers and never really liked any of them. None of them did what this does for my skin. I have naturally dry skin, but it's also acne prone. And so I tend to break out if I don't use this. I use this in the morning and the evening. I don't use this before I do my makeup because I find that that disturbs my skin too much. Once in the morning and then at night, it's fine for me. In the morning, I will take about half a pump, mix it with a lot of water and just do a quick cleanse. And then at night, I will do a double cleanse. This will remove all of my makeup for me. And then once my makeup is removed, I then go ahead and do a deeper cleanse using this again. And I didn't think this far ahead, but I, I do need water to actually cleanse my skin with this so I don't really have any makeup on but let's just pretend that I pumped it and cleanse my skin and it's also great for little breakouts so what I do is I do it like a mask on little breakouts I take a little bit of this with a little bit of water apply it onto the blemish leave it for five seconds and then I cleanse it away it seems to bring down the redness the inflammation which I don't know how it works but it just does it just seems to heal up a lot quicker than if I didn't do it 
if that makes sense. Use it like a blemish mask, use it like makeup remover, and use it as a regular cleanser. It does, does everything. Moving on to toners. Toners are my favorite thing. They make skincare fun. They make it almost scientific. I don't know, but I just, I love toners. I have a variety of different ones, and I'm gonna share with you actually something that I found from the drugstore and high-end that I think are amazing, but these are like more mid-range ones. These are the pixie ones in the morning after I've done my cleanse, I will then just use a little bit of toner. And it depends on how my skin is. Sometimes I'll use a milky tonic. So this is the Pixie Milky Tonic. If my skin is very dry or I'm just very tired, then I will use the Rose Tonic. I also find is just great for using like um, a mask. I'm gonna actually do that while we're here. So here I have a cotton pad, and this is a, a really important part, but you wanna dampen your cotton pad because you don't want a concentrated amount because that may irritate your skin. You don't want it to be soaking though, but it's pretty damp. And what I do is I separate it, so I pull it apart and I've halved it so it's like super thin and I folded it so it's gonna fit under the eye. And then I take a little bit of my toner or a hydrolonic spray or a mist, spritz it with a little bit of this and then just place it on there. And this is so great if you're really tired, you probably get like about three out of one cotton pad, maybe even more. Give it a little spritz. I just place it under my eyes and it feels so good. And I may even put like a little bit in the middle here or on my like smile line. Five minutes and you're pretty much good to go. I've got fluff like all over my face now. Those are the products that I use in the morning and before my makeup and sometimes at night as well. But actually my preferred toner at night is a retinal toner. This stuff, ooh. Actually, as you can see, completely empty bottle. This is the Pixie Retinol Tonic. That's by Pixie. And then this one is the Aldi one. And I feel like this does exactly the same thing if not a little bit better. Maybe this works more long-term and this is more short-term, but this, it's real good. Now, if you are looking for something super high-end, I would recommend the Armani Peeling Lotion. That pretty much does what this does, but way better. I have an entire video on that. I've actually ran out, but I have an entire video on that. I'll link it up here or on that side. I don't know which side it is. This stuff is one of my favorite things to use at night. I keep this beside my bed and all I do is exactly the same thing. I take my cotton pad, a little bit of the toner on there, and I just run this over my skin. I'm pretty much removing my eyebrows because I really think they're a bit strong today. If you were in your 30s, I'm in my 30s. You need to get this. And like, look how glowy my skin looks. It feels like a very thin serum, almost. So once my toner has kind of settled on my skin, or like in this case, it doesn't really settle. It kind of stays kind of glowy, but with the other ones, it kind of settles on my skin. So once that's done, I then move on to moisturizer. For the morning, I will use an SPF, and this is one of my favorite ones. It's the Kiehl's Aqua Gel SPF 50. And I love this one because it gives my skin a beautiful glow. I love how this SPF feels on my skin. It's, it's very lightweight and also it's for normal to oily skin, though I actually have dry skin and I find that this still works for me because most SPFs I do not like, but I like this one. My moisturizer for my makeup routine, I'll just use pretty much any moisturizer as long as it moisturizes my skin and it doesn't have any bells or whistles or does anything drastic. I find like for my makeup, I want my moisturizer to be the most basic one so it doesn't interfere with my makeup. And then at night, I have my night moisturizer. This is what it is, but you don't have to get anything this expensive, guys, because there's so many like really good drugstore moisturizers and serums like you don't have to go for high end but this is the the lancome one probably i think their their most famous one it's the youth youth activating concentrate and it looks like this and as i said before i'm in my 30s do you know that if you're over 25 your skin is kind of considered mature you should all be happy with getting older so I don't care. I put a, a pump of this on. I'm probably gonna get yelled at for doing this, but this is what I do. I do drop it onto my face, okay? And it's not to be fancy, and it's not to be Instagrammy, but it's just because usually I have my hair away from my face and I don't wanna get it into my hair. So I just tilt my head back and put what's there onto my face. So it's not to be cool. As you can see, whenever I put anything or touch my face, my skin gets quite red. That's because of my medical condition that I have. It, it makes my skin very sensitive to touch. Like if you pinched my skin or scratched my skin, I would have 
a red mark for about two days. It's just my skin is very sensitive to touch. It's not the product. So we're pretty much up to date with everything. We've got our cleanser, toner, and our moisturizer. And then any extras that I use are, are kind of bonuses. I don't do them all the time. This is the eye cream and it's the matching eye cream to that. But I actually heard recently that eye creams are really nothing but your actual moisturizer in a smaller tube. Is that true? I don't know. Next up, I have lip products and balms. And this is actually another one of those things that I absolutely love having a few different types of. So first of all, I have a medicated one. This is what I use at night. And sometimes in the morning if I need to, it's the Blistex Relief Cream. It's not the regular Blistex. It's the tube one that you get in the health section. And this is great if you tend to get any cracks, if your lips get really dry. The amount of people I recommend this to and they're like, this has saved me such a hassle, particularly coming into the winter. Then if I want to do like a lip mask, I'll use the Kiehl's Butter Mask. It's pretty much gone. It smells good too. A heavy layer of it and then I just kind of go to sleep <laughs> and it kind of just settles on the lips. And another thing that I recommend is the Dr. Paw Paw Balm. I don't know where it's gone, but I'll show you on camera. This stuff can be used for any dry patches that you have on your body or on your face. If you have like a little bit of dryness around your nose, it's great for applying before you do your makeup. It's also great for your cuticles. It's great for your brows, your lashes, your hair, your split ends, it does everything. So I always have that with me as well, except for right now when I can't find it. Definitely had it about 10 seconds ago, but it's gone. Sometimes I use the Dr. Pawpaw on my lashes and my brows at night, but I started using this. This is the Lancome Lash Rejuvenating Serum. And a lot of these serums tend to irritate my, my lashes, but this one doesn't. Obviously I have fake ones on right now, so there's no point in me doing it. And I'll let you know how I got on with that because I've only just started using it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Apologize if I did anything wrong in this video. Feel free to correct me if I have done anything wrong, but I feel like it works for my skin. I have another really embarrassing one actually i was about 12 and i had the sabrina the teenage witch magazine and in it it was like tips on how to have the perfect sleepover and it was doing face masks i didn't realize that there was a different type of yogurt that you would use so i just remember putting strawberry yogurt all over my friend's face it was like petty flu and then she was like it's kind of burning i was like no i think that means it's working yeah it was <sighs> the things we used to do